All right. Good early morning, my friends. I'm building out all the wishing machines I've got to get caught up on some orders. I've been getting out a couple of days. And uh, so I'm doing two at a time here. And I just thought as I'm kind of going through this, I would chat a little bit about, about radionics, about energy, what it's all about. And I know I've done a lot of videos on this. If you uh, had not been to the YouTube channel, which I am simultaneously live streaming this at Abnormal Alabama and on Facebook, The Wish Doctor, on Facebook, The Wish DR. And of course, the website is thewishdr.com. Let's see, I need to, in fact, I need. I need to have that right there, don't I? Yeah, there we go. So, okay. This is for the purpose of you knowing kind of what I'm doing here. It's metallic tape. It does, it is metallic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the, the uh, machines I'm working on now, the very the basic ones there's no power hooked up to them <clears throat> but <clears throat> it works off the energy that's all around us and I like to, I like to compare I make note there there is energy all around us and um, it's just having the tool and ability to receive and to manipulate that energy to utilize that energy when I was a teenager, and I was very much fascinated in uh, radio electronics, I built what is called a crystal radio. You can buy kits, I think, now, and I think on eBay or whatever. I hadn't looked on Amazon, but you can probably get some crystal radios, little kits. They're uh, pretty simple, um, and they are not powered. Kind of like I like what I'm doing here. And, um, but these were the basic dial and uh, a coil. You can receive radio stations, seriously, without any power applied. You even have headphones hooked up and you can receive radio stations. Because that is energy, and you are building the right device to tune into that particular type of energy, that frequency. And so, what we're doing here in radionics is that we're, grab we're we're manipulating energy, and we have these dials. I use five because uh, the number five is is um, a powerful number which uh, I can go into that in a minute. Um, and uh, you tune in a frequency, and you, you just just like when you're using a crystal radio, and you're tuning in to receive this radio wave. You're listening, so you're slowly tuning it in to a certain frequency where somewhere out there a radio station is broadcasting on and we're dealing with universal energy here. And the way we tune it in is, uh, there's more than one way. On, on all these units, there's what we call a stick pad. And um, that is the common way. Some people actually will use a, uh, a pendulum. I've had people say that they get the feeling just from, they feel the energy just from turning the dials so it, it don't have to work the same with everybody because the kind of energy we're dealing with and the kind of frequency we're dealing with and that frequency can be it can be different for me than it is you and that's why you've got to tune it yourself to get the effect 
that you won't. So now second. <clears throat> All right, so why do I use five as the number of knobs that I'm using on my machines, on all my machines, just five knobs? Because five is a symbol of balance. And what you're trying to use the wishing machine, these radionic boxes for balance. And it's a balance between the material and the spiritual aspects of life. And it's also uh, said to be a five as a symbol of individualism, courage, and important life lessons that you've learned through your own experience. So you're using those as an individual, if you will, tuning these into a frequency that works with you. That's a big thing. So I can't pre-tune these. That's, that's never... That's not, never going to work. That's not the way it works. You've got to tune them. You have to tune these to the frequency that works for you. That's what's going to take place. So the first thing that I've done on these machines is, of course, I've drilled the hose to where we're going to put these knobs. And then I've, I've run the uh, metal tape through here. Okay. And now, we're going to go to the next step. Get this out of the way. All right. I like working at my desk, but I really need to clean this off because I got way too much stuff on here. That's okay. We're going to make this work. Okay. Bear with me, folks. You can see this kind of come together here. At least partially come together. Right. Okay. There you go. So you're dealing with the energy, and you're dealing with the frequency, and you have to tune this in. In fact, for every time you use it to manifest, you're your desire, your intention. You have to tune it each time. You have to. You have to uh, find that frequency each time. So, and you might have to uh, go through and um, readjust it. Let's say that you have got it set up. You've got your, whatever you're using to represent your intention. You've got that set up. And, uh, hold on. Sometimes it's difficult. People think this is easy. And sometimes it just won't cooperate very well. <laughs> sometimes it gets right on there and sometimes it is a nuisance of pain in the rump. For some reason. 
work. So you can set this up. You've got whatever is uh, the witness, whatever's representing your intention. You've got that on the input plate. Let's see. I don't grasp what is going on with some of these. The very first one I'm going to try. It's going on fine here, so something's blocking it here. Hold on. So you set this up with your intention. And whatever you have, you know, let's say just you, you've got a, a dollar bill, a five dollar bill, whatever, because you need money. So you, are, you, you have written down. Um, Amount of money as your intention. You got that on your input plate of your wishing machine, and you go through the process. You also, you know, you also have uh, something to represent you. It could be you could put your driver's license on it. You could put a picture of yourself, whatever, anything like that. <clears throat> And uh, you've got that, and then you go through setting the frequency. You're either using your, uh, like swapping your thumb on the, on the stick plate, or um, using a pendulum, whatever works for you, so that you can feel the, um, the alignment. You can feel when it's tuned in. Okay, and you get that set, and you you, 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 you you leave it alone, and you let the uh, machine do its thing. You let the uh, wishing machine do its thing. And I don't know, a few, a few days go by, and you're just not feeling it. You just, and you know, you might have to go back and reset it. Maybe you didn't get the frequency set right. You're going through, and it's like, uh, I'm not feeling this. I don't. I'm not getting anything from it because you, if you if you read some of the reviews, you kind of get an idea of what's happening with people that's having the, um, having success with this, and they will feel it. Some people actually start feeling energy from their machine. While I'm building it out, they don't have it in their possession yet. It starts kind of working for them because I'm already tuned in to the person that I'm building this from and for. I'm already applying that piece to it, if you will. I'm just kind of babbling, I'm sorry, but... So... Um, but it's all about energy. It's about tuning into that frequency, and then it's about letting the machine do what it's going to do, and giving it time. And it's also about if if you're not feeling it, yeah, go back and 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 reset it. Go back and reset it. Start all over again. Maybe you didn't get get it tuned in just right. And then there's sometimes that maybe what you're using as a rep to represent witness for whatever your intention is, maybe, um, oops, maybe you need to adjust that. Maybe it's not clear enough. You should try something else. And there's several ways you can do it. Some people, like I said, for money, you could. You can put a bill on it. I've had people that threw a twenty dollar bill on it and had great success the same day. I've got a review from a lady that did that over in Georgia, and I mean the same freaking day she did it. Uh, that afternoon, she put a twenty dollar bill on it, and the next thing you know, that afternoon, 
uh, she won I think $400 or so up, uh, uh, that afternoon from some scratch off lottery or whatever. So, and again, it works differently for different people. The big thing you got to realize is, is, first of all, this is not going to violate any laws of nature. That's one thing. The second thing is it's it's gonna it's gonna open up opportunity. It's not like you're just gonna miraculously come back and there, your five dollar bill that you left on it has miraculously turned into five one hundred dollar bills. It, it, that's not the way it works. It leads you to opportunity. You do have to take some action, but it's gonna provide you with the opportunity. You could get a phone call. That phone call could say, hey, uh, would you sell so-and-so for $500? Or, I've got this gig. Uh, would you, you know, on the such-and-such -such date, uh, we need somebody to do such-and-such, -and, -such and they're willing to pay, just so happens, the exact amount of money that you're seeking. So, part of the success with these machines is you're understanding how it works as far as what your expectations can be because it's you know it, can, it, it is miraculous to in a sense but it's not miraculous in the sense that you, you're not going to have you know you could get a phone call something could happen it's not like it's you know the lady that she threw a $20 bill on it that afternoon um, she won $400 or so in uh, the scratch off lottery. She the action she had to take is she had to she had to buy those lottery tickets. It you know, it wasn't like she didn't you know, she had to take some action. That door of opportunity was open. It did work, but it didn't work by her just sitting back watching the machine and saying, Okay. So, a lot of people, I don't know if they understand that or not, but that's the way it works. Um, that's the way it worked for me when I first started doing this, is that the opportunity came my way. And I mean great opportunity. So, if, if it's like you think you're going to accomplish something without applying yourself, you're missing the point. Um, this is not like the uh, genie in a bottle where they come up and I want to grant you three wishes and you don't have to do anything except for ask for it. Mm. Um, this will lead you to opportunity. This will open up doors of opportunity. You know, and, and, and you never know how that door of opportunity is gonna gonna be opened up to you. But that that's the point of it right there. And it again, whatever you're wishing for, whatever your intention is, um, you just you've got to be wide awake with it. You've got to really be ready. You've got to be aware. It's uh, no way I can put it. And um, and it could be very noticeable. It it it, it doesn't. It's it's not. I'm not saying that the uh, the opportunity is going to be subtle. Um. But I am saying that it's going to lead lead you to it. But again, you're going to have to um, absolutely. You're going to have to step up to the plate and say, "Ooh, okay." There's opportunity. It's doing its thing whether you've been looking for a job, uh, whatever the case may be.
So you got to be ready. And uh, because sometimes, I mean, it's like it can be, it's not, uh, you know, in my case, it was far from subtle. I can't say that it would be, you know, it could be subtle for other people. Everybody's wishing for something else. Um, in my case, I used in 2020, it was a horrible year. I do a lot of events and uh, I'm involved in a lot of weddings. And 2020, due to the pandemic, created a situation that was um, very, well, it was just a dead year. Wasn't totally dead, but it was, it was, it was the slowest in, in years and years and years. And um, in going through that, um, as I'm building out my wishing machine, Um, as I'm building out my wishing machine, I'm already putting my attention out. I didn't have anything on the input plate. I just was thinking of what the intention was, what, what, what I needed to happen. So it's very much on my mind. And, and given that, um, it, it, it took me on that direction. And in my case, and like I said, can't, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen with somebody else. But in my case, it was very much um, within just a few days, I started getting the effects prior to even getting the first wishing machine completed. I didn't have it together. They started working. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking about putting together a more detailed. If, if I'm just kind of giving consideration if um, I can I can charge I can think about putting together a series of videos um, very detailed on building if somebody wanted to do this on their own and just charging a nominal fee. Um, just something I'm giving consideration to. Um, because these things, you know, that I've been, they're always, people are always ordering them. I have sent these literally around the world. I mean, literally around the world. It's, it's not something I could have ever expected. It's not like I've got some great marketing scheme. There's just a big demand. And, um, but there's more to it than just the mechanics of what you see here. And a lot of people look at it and say, oh, I could build one of those. Well, you technically you could build one, but you may not get out of it uh, because there's certain things that I'm not going to show you. And some things I can't show you because it's, it's a, uh, you say it's kind of like a spiritual thing that goes into it. And um, as I'm doing this, and as I have the information of the person that's ordered the box, I've got their name. In most cases, I've got their birthday. Some people don't want to provide their birthday. That's fine. Uh, I think it helps, but I'm not going to pressure anybody on that end. I've sent out several that did not have their birthday. But if if I have that information, at the very least, I've got their name, I've got where they live, uh, and that kind of basic information from them. And um, so what I'm putting into it on a spiritual level, uh, 
psychological, what I'm doing here will and does make a difference with the result that people will have with it. And I hear it over and over and over. You go back to uh, even a year ago and people, you know, it's like they, they feel it. They, very, they feel very attached to the wishing machine. Um, as I said before, a lot of people, they begin feeling it before it even arrives. They begin feeling it as it's being built out. And um, a lot of people are blown away by that. But that's, just, like I said, mine began working before it was completed at all. It was a long ways from completed, but I had the components. I was ready to build it out. And before it was completed, everything that I was, uh, my intention, my wishes, uh, they were just, it was amazing. And it's not changed. It has not slowed down. And uh, it's been it's been a heck of a ride. It has been one heck of a ride. And again, it wasn't like I just, you know, it's not like I'm doing nothing. Here I am at 3 o'clock in the morning building out these wishing machines. And this is not all I do by a long shot. But things, things changed dramatically. 2020 was a horrible year for a lot of people. If you were in any kind of service business and whatnot, uh, some people were less affected than others, but what I was doing, it, it was it was a very negative time in my world. And um, as soon as I started utilizing radionics, the wishing machine, it changed and it has not slowed down. I went from uh, a very, the worst it had been in, in a long time in my life due to cancellations and postponements due to COVID. And then as I started putting together my first box, my first machine, just on that level, before I even got it completed, it changed 180 degrees and never slowed down to this day. And uh, again, uh, you go back and read the ones that have purchased the machines and taken the time to share their experiences in a review. And some people I hear from randomly for some time. Other people, uh, clearly you don't hear from. I don't. I cannot tell you everybody's experience, but I appreciate the ones that do take the time to send me um, a review of their experience with with one of these machines. I've got, I think most of them listed on the website, as you see scrolling down at the bottom of the screen there. Um, I've got these listed. I had some on eBay. I'm not, a, I used to be a big eBayer, but I'm not so much anymore. So uh, I've got them on my website, which is listed scrolling, uh, as you see right here. And then I also have them, I always keep a few listed on Etsy. I've had some that have custom built that people contacted me and uh, they have a special design that they wanted and I've worked with them on. I've learned from some of the people I've built these out. Some people I've built these out. Some of these people are very well versed in radionics and uh, I've never claimed to know everything and I learn as I, you know, from the experience of people that are using these and um, and some that have ordered some and they'll they'll contact me and say well could you do this could you add this and so forth and sure um, I will build to uh, your specifications um, then they'll ask me, well, what do you charge? It's like, well, let me let me figure it out. Let me see which 
you know, what, what I've got to purchase here to be able to get this to your specification. So, yes, I've done that. Um, I have sold several of the, uh, what I call the Trinity machines, and the vampire machines. Um, the Trinity machine includes a, a, a Tepaphone. And um, I'm working on, um, in fact, I'm, I'm getting two of these uh, smaller ones out today. And I'm uh, waiting on a part to finish up both a um, Trinity machine and a vampire machine that are already on the bench and already started. And I've got to wait on a, a couple, of, couple of pieces. They all work basically the same. There is a substantial difference, and of course, what the Tepaphone is built for, and um, I've got videos on that, um, and the uh, Vampire Machine, and I've got explanations on all that as well. Um, I've had a couple of requests on a couple of things. Somebody asked if I could build the, uh, if you've seen uh, the Radionic Helmet. And um, I've got one started. Uh, if that's something someone's interested in. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time for experimentation lately. And I haven't had a lot of time to put out a lot of these videos lately. Because I have, these orders have been, uh, been pretty constant. And it, it makes me feel real good when these people have such success. For really, even in these basic wishing machines that you're watching me build out here now, it's like, without much of a financial investment on these people's part, they're having great success. And when I hear that, that's, that's, that's a big part of it right there. For me, that is really a huge part. Um... On. The satisfaction I get from that, you know, clearly I, I cover my cost, material, and uh, I'm not I'm not getting rich on this by a long shot. And um, but I have shipped these. Uh, I ship them to Canada all the time. I've shipped them to Germany. I've shipped them to South Korea, Dubai. Italy is another place that uh, has been kind of a uh, regular place I ship to. Mexico, Australia. I have to give thought. I mean, literally, I have shipped these around the world. I've gotten very familiar with filling out these customs forms. And it's, you know. So, mm. 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 all right. So I'm. I'm the first thing I've done is I have I painted the box that I'm using. Um, I drilled the holes for these knobs and for the input output jacks. And uh, when I get to this point here, which I'm getting close to, I get these done and then I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole here, and then I'm going to get into the wiring. So as I go through the wiring, I'm going to be building out the input and output plates right here. Okay. I 
process. So this is the process I use in building these out. This is the steps I go through. So the first thing I do is um, start out with a box. I um, paint the box. And then I drill the holes. I've, I've got a template. So the um, holes, these are spaced right. Um, I emphasize to people, if you get these, you know, this is, as you see, this is all hand built. It's not going to have a machine built, you know, look to it. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to look hand built because as you see, it is being hand built. But the key to it is, is you read those reviews and you've got to understand, that's why I've got so many videos out there. Um, you've got to have an understanding of radionics, how it works, what we're dealing with. So you can indeed get the best out of your machine. I send a, a, a very detailed Uh, it's manual with each machine to give specific directions and suggestions on getting the best out of these machines. So, then I'm going to put the jacks in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the knobs on this one first. So radionics, sionics, we're dealing, it's all about energy. It is really all about energy. And that's, and, and we're manipulating energy. And I'm the only one that I'm aware of that on some of my machines, I'm, these are basic, these are, these are the biggest sellers because they're least expensive wishing machines um, but I do and I'm the only one that I know of I haven't seen anyone else do it where I'm utilizing a, um, a Tesla coil for amplification tool and to me that is the perfect one for a simple reason that um, let's be real the whole purpose of the testicle is to send energy out. So if you put a testicle on the output, input side, you're throwing your attention out to the universe. What better amplification tool than, than something that's designed and does actually send out energy? That's what a testicle does. Right? Is it well? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I can get this right. Right. Tight. There we go. I want 
that snipping. Hmm. Each one of these knobs for tuning the frequency goes from zero to 100. And the manual I send with these gives a very detailed explanation as to how you tune in that frequency. Which I'm not going to explain here. But you get this tuned correctly. You've got your 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 witness. Some people call it witness. You've got your where you're putting your intention, basically your wish to go on the input plate. And then you uh, also have something to represent yourself or if you're wanting to send something out to uh, someone else, I guess. You could, you could have a picture of them. But the, the point is you start out with your your wish what you're manifesting for your your wish your intention you start out with it on your input plate you get the frequency set whatever means you do it it's, it's explain the different ways you can do it in the manual but just by swiping your uh, Thumb on the uh, stick plate. Uh, some people use a pendulum, and I've had people that just go with their feel on um, as they're tuning the knobs and have had great success. There's several ways to do it, and I, I'm not going to even begin to suggest that one way works better than the other. One way may work better for you than another way. But it, it's not one. Uh, it's not one size fits all. Is the point? I need to have to get that just right, or it won't turn comfortably. There we go. That is much better. Much better. Like I said, this this is not machine built. This is not when you get your wishing machine. It's not going to look like it came out of a mold. I mean, you know, I'm I'm hand building these. I'm hand drilling the holes. I'm putting all this together uh, like this, and it's going to have a home built look and feel to it. Uh, so there are different people that are selling these machines that are um, that are what I call machine built and if that's your preference that's you know mine are not that way. I have spent a lot, of, as you see, I'm spending a lot of time individually with these, and I'm putting my energy in it. I'm putting my everything into it that I've got to apply to it as I build out your machine because I want you to get the best out of it. Um, I don't want you to look ugly, but I'm, I'm just, it's, it's not built. To look pretty. I'm not saying it, it looks ugly. I'm just saying that there's it's not going to be machine built. That's not the way I do it. So, if you want something that polished on that level, then uh, my machines are not going to look that way. But my machines, as you go back, I'm just, I, I go back and I see the reviews of people that have purchased these from me that I've built for them and what they've had to say and the results they've had. And it's like, it really makes me feel good because that's the reason I started doing this because the success I had with a wishing machine was so phenomenal. It's like, if, if I can do something and do it as affordable as I can to help other people, 
I, I, this is awesome. And uh, I try to get people to understand how to use these, what to expect from them, and those kind of things. So there we go. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I don't have those here on my desk. So I've got to go get my other little box because I didn't bring that here. <clears throat> so I guess then continue on. I do like working on my desk, but it's kind of clunky sometimes. Yeah, let's see. While I'm going to go get, I'm just going to play something here when I go find what I need. What I need. So bear with me a second here. One second. Here's a, here's a, yeah, here's a previous video I did. So I'm going to link up. To this real quick and I shall return so hold on one second go oh there we go all right Enjoy this for a moment. Different ways of doing it. This would be the top. If you're using this, it would be faced this way. These would be faced towards you. These will input, output right there. I haven't got the wiring done yet. As you see, this is just dangling here. Um, <clears throat> so this was just put together in the last little bit. And I am finishing up, this is what's called the uh, stick plate. And uh, you have wire all around this. And I personalize these. Now, to really personalize these, I ask people for their birth date. Not everybody comes through with that. Uh, some people just don't check their, you know, don't check the box, whatever. It's not a requirement. It just makes it more personal to the user. All right? So, <clears throat> I've got, now we're going to go over here. Okay, I am back. Right here. Right here. Okay. All right. Now let's get the jacks. Thank <laughs> you. 
So right now I'm putting the uh, input output jacks here. I've already had the holes drilled and I'm attaching those. And I'm going to have to go drill two more holes for where I'm going to put the um, input plate and the stick plate output plate. I've already got my material laid out here for that, but I haven't drilled those two small holes because the wiring that's going to, in one side, create a coil on the input side and on the um, output side, the wiring goes around the stick plate. I've already got pretty much all that ready to go. Except, okay. Well, uh, there we go. The last thing I do is print out the manuals. Yes, so. All right. There we go. Now. Okay, so that is a uh, start. These two, these two will go out today. And um, that's as far as I'm going to go with you this morning. It's uh, 3.31. And I have been working on this about an hour and um, I'll have another couple hours into these before I get them finished so any questions 888-501-6689 is the phone number and second of all www.thewishdr.com I do have a contact page in there where you can email me and um, you can buy directly off of the website there and via PayPal or you can go to Etsy either one doesn't matter it comes out the same you're still dealing with me directly so have a good day folks let me get these built out and get these out to uh, some people that are patiently waiting on me to get them to them have a great day and best wishes